Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video in today's Crash Team Race and Nitro Fuel video guide we're just going to be going over some of the advanced tips that you may not know about at the start. If you are doing the adventure mode then you may know some of these but these will come in very very handy especially if you are going for the insane hard time trials against Oxide or simply doing the adventure mode on hard difficulty. So we're going to start off with things that are a bit more basic and then go to the more advanced techniques. So let's start off with the most basic one. There is actually a separate trophy for doing this, but if you do get a TNT on top of your head and it's about to explode, if you do spam the jump button, which is obviously the same button as the drift button, you will eventually knock it off of you and save your life. Next up, another really basic and simple thing that you may not know about, the Wumpa Fruit. So these are the fruit that you can find around some of the courses. Now they have two main functions. Now for each Wumpa Fruit you have, you get a little tiny bit more top speed. But also if you have 10 Wumpa Fruit, the items or at least some of the items you pick up will be upgraded. So say that instead of a, a green potion you may get a red potion and uh, it's something that you may not notice and is definitely very very useful. Now for another item tip, the power shield you can actually use as an offensive item as well. So if you do have a power shield and you see somebody in front of you or you just want to take it off, you can press circle again once you have the shield around you and this will uh, blast forwards. Uh, wiping out an enemy in front of you. Now moving on to the more advanced techniques that are definitely going to be coming in handy when you are doing the more difficult time trials and stuff like that. These are more mechanics of the game. Now there's two very specific ones that I definitely really would want to talk about. The first one of these two advanced techniques is the boost reserve. Now this is kind of a hidden feature in the game and basically if you do get say a triple boost and then go straight into drifting again and get some more boost you will actually keep the boost that you should have had from the triple boost from before in a bit of a reserve and when you do stop drifting you will actually notice that your boost will last a bit longer even if you're going in a straight line. This also counts for the boost pads on the ground and uh, it can definitely be very useful especially on the time trial just make sure you're boosting every single possible second in that race and then on the straights you will get that reserve boost to go a bit faster when you definitely need it. And for our final tip we are going to be talking about our second advanced technique. This is called trick jumping. Now if you notice on the right hand side of the screen you have got a vertical little meter that fills up every time you get airtime. It's not quite every time you get airtime, you do have to press R1 to jump. If you do get a lot of airtime but you don't press R1 to jump you won't actually fill this meter up no matter how high the jump is. But if you do press R1 just before uh, jumping off of something high the meter will start to fill up and the further you fill it up the more boost you'll get when you land. Now it's worth mentioning that to get the minimum boost you will have to get it up to the first little black bar and this is really useful because you will kind of do a little wheelie and especially for the shortcuts where there's grass like on uh, Crash Cove uh, the first shortcut you can go all the way through that without really slowing down because you are doing a wheelie and when you're doing a wheelie you don't really get slowed down by hazardous ground like grass. So yeah guys if there's any more advanced techniques that I did miss out that you would like to mention make sure you let everybody know in the comments down below. Hopefully this video was helpful guys if it was please go like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. If this guide was helpful, please consider joining as a member by using the join button or using the link in the description. This will support the channel, allowing me to get even more games to do even more video guides. Thanks for the support. Take care, guys.